Turning to campaign 2018, an embattled state senator will get a chance to run for re-election after all. Ira Silverstein just barely won his ballot challenge, but that may have been the easy part. Political reporter Derek Blakely explains now Silverstein has to convince voters he deserves another term in Springfield. Beleaguered State Senator Ira Silverstein entered today's election board hearing with his political future hanging in the balance. There probably has been a case this close before, um, but uh, I don't remember it. The only state lawmaker publicly accused of sexual harassment, Silverstein submitted 1,999 signatures to get on the ballot. But a stiff legal challenge wiped out 995 as invalid. And today, the board threw out two more. Based on the conversation we've had in the past two minutes, or whatever time, we're down to 1,002. Correct. That's just two signatures more than needed, but it was enough. The board ruling Silverstein's name shall be printed on the official ballot for the general primary election held on Tuesday, March 20th, 2018. We respected the process. We went through the process. And now, since my name is on the ballot, now we continue with the election. It was victims' rights advocate Denise Rothheimer who leveled sexual harassment charges at Silverstein, a charge the inspector general rejected while saying Silverstein behaved in a manner unbecoming to a legislator. Controversy he laid out in a letter to voters. It was just a letter we put on stationery that was not paid by the state by my campaign, and that's all I'm going to say right now. Just about apologizing and explaining what happened and explaining what happened. I, I made a mistake and asked for their support.